How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields from Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Keepa, which is one of the most important tools for your Amazon business to, to be a successful seller. Uh, this tool is only $17 a month. It's definitely worth every penny. So let's just jump right into it and show you how I use it to grow my business and maybe I can teach you something that helps. So now that we're on Amazon, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these listings. At first glance, this Keepa chart looks uh, a little complicated. So we're going to take out some of these metrics, to look at them one by one. So this first line here, the yellow line with a box underneath it is going to be the Amazon price. This is a fairly simple one. Amazon's pretty much been on it for 1997 as you can see. And then down here I've got year selected. And then we're going to look at new prices. So it looks like no one but Amazon's been on this one. We're going to go ahead and look at used which don't really apply for Tide. Then we're going to look at sales rank. So this is going to show you when it's really selling or periods where it's not selling quite as well. So this is a super hot selling product because it's below 100 in health and household. But you can see these these periods where uh, maybe a sale happened on other detergent or something where the sales rank went way up and then it dropped back down. So this second box down here tracks sales rank. Um, and it also will track, this is a relatively new addition to Keepa, it'll track it the subcategory ranks as well. As you can see, this has fluctuated between one in laundry detergent packs and it has gone to two laundry detergent packs. And then this bottom box down here is going to show you these four metrics right here. I use these a lot when I'm looking at books. Uh, so here's the new offers. So you can see the historic charts there, the used offers. The rating has stated about a 4.5 the whole time, up to 4.8 now. And then there's also review count, which in a pinch, sometimes there won't be sales rank on the chart on the uh, top chart here, but there will be a review count volume, and you can use that to kind of judge how fast it's selling. It's a it's a very rough metric, but as you can see here, if we didn't even have this, we could see that it's getting like thousands of reviews every month. So you can obviously infer that this is a pretty hot selling product. So I used Tide to kind of show you the basics of how Keepa works. So now let's look at a product that I actually have an account with this brand. Uh, it's not super profitable. Uh, I'm, I'm not working with them, but if you want to work out a deal with them, here's a little uh, bonus for watching the video. This is a brand that will open an account with you pretty easily. So we're going to check out this Keepa chart down here. As you can see in the past, the new price was about $27 and it sold super well. And then it looks like the price got bumped up and then it's not selling nearly as well. Um, see, uh, this green line stays really low. We'll get rid of this new price just, just to show you here how the green line stays low and then it bumps up all of a sudden. And you can tell it's because of the new price. So maybe if you were interested in selling this, you could work with this brand to try to get this price down a little bit because you could probably bring them back to this kind of volume. Um, and then one other thing that I like to use is this data tab, especially for wholesale sourcing, because this is going to show you past sales rank velocity, which will, which you can use with the Jungle Scout estimator, which I can just go ahead and show you that right now. You're going to go to junglescout.com slash estimator. And then in this case, the average in the last 90 days was 39,000, as you can see here. And then down here, it's got all kinds of useful info, but in this case, I'm interested in the category. So it says health and beauty. So we go up to here, 39,000 United States and health. And so this is selling 300 a month. So it's not super good volume, but that's just an easy way you can kind of tell monthly volume for free without, well, you need Keepa, but for free without uh, having to buy the Jungle Scout extension. I used that when I was starting out a lot. Um, and then one other metric I like to use on this is this used offer count or the new offer count over here. So I can see maybe is now a time where there's way more competitors than there normally would be. As you can see, there's 20 FBA offers right now. And the average over the last 90 days is 18. So it's a little bit higher than normal, but you can pretty much consistently rely on there being 20-ish people on this listing. So you'd be splitting those 300 sales 20 ways. So to me, it's not a, not really worth it. Um, but that's just a quick example of how you can use this data tab to kind of dive into the wholesale products you might be interested in.
So this last example I'm going to show you is with a textbook. Um, the textbook's Kiba pattern always will look like this. Um, even if you don't know that the book is a textbook, but it's got these little dips in September and then January and then as you can see it's starting to dip again because it's middle of August right now so kids are going back to school. So that's a really easy way to tell if the book you're looking at is a textbook. Um, which you could maybe use to, as you can see the prices go higher during textbook season. So for me if, I'm, if I find this book out at a thrift or at a Gaylord, um, I'm going to not sell it in this period where it's only like 77 to 90 and I'm going to hold out for this where it's going, it's going for 150 right now. And last, last summer it went as high as 175. So if you're still on prime, you could get up to 200 on this thing. Whereas in off season, you could probably get, you know, 80 merchant, maybe 120 prime, depending on if you find the right seller or the right buyer. Another tool that I use on Keepa with books a lot is this tracked product page right here. This is going to send you an alert to your email anytime the price drops below. You can select Amazon's price, which maybe if you're shopping for yourself, I've used this in the past to find when, you know, pens go on sale or that kind of thing. Uh, the new price, I have I don't think I've ever really used this box. And then the used one, I use a lot for like using eFlip and Zen Arbitrage and those kind of things. Because if you find a book where the price is a little too high right now, but maybe if it drops a little bit, then you'd be interested in selling it. So say I'm looking back at this price history, I can probably sell this book for $200. So let's say if this price drops below, you know, 80 bucks, then I want to get an email and then I might take a look at buying it. And you can do that to a lot, a lot of books as you're doing your OA book flipping, if you're into that. And then that's going to constantly just send you a stream of emails that are like books on sale, basically, that you can flip for more. One last little feature of Keepa that I like to use is this option for the buy box right down here. So what this is going to do is it's going to show you who's getting the buy box at any given time. Um, and the buy box is basically dictates who's going to get the sale on that listing, right? Because whoever has the buy box is going to be right here rather than if you don't have the buy box, then someone's going to have to click through here and then select you, which is way less likely. Pretty much all sales on Amazon come through the buy box. If you look at the Keepa graph down here, you can see in the past how these little purple boxes pretty much follow the new line, right? Until they get to here where the new price, you can see it's at 807, but the buy box is at 833, which probably means that someone was selling it merchant fulfilled for 807, but Amazon was giving the FBA offer the buy box at 833, which is a good thing to know on this listing. So if you're gonna try to carry it above merchant prices, then that tells you that you'd be able to do it on this listing. If all the other FBA offers go out, then you might be able to sell this at ten fifty or even $11 if the FBM offers are at 10 As you can see back here, it looks like the FBM offers were at nine ninety eight, and someone was getting the buy box at ten ninety nine FBA. So it's just something to keep in mind. You can also use this on listings where Amazon is on the listing to see if they're sharing the buy box. So you're going to look over, you're going to scroll over that little buy box option there. And when Amazon is on the listing they're they've got that yellow line. But if the third party is getting the buy box, it'll say FBA on it. Just something to look out for. Um, it's pretty much a good rule of thumb to not compete with Amazon on your wholesale products. But if you look at the Keepa graph and you see that they're sharing the buy box, that's something you can keep in mind. So that's going to do it for this video, just a brief overview of how Keepa works, how I use it for my business. Um, I tried to give a basic tutorial and then offer a little bit more advanced tidbits in there if you already are a little bit familiar with Keepa. This is definitely a very important tool for your business. Uh, a lot of people try to slack on the softwares and stuff at the beginning, but uh, treat it like it's a business. You know, you got to make initial investments. Um, not everything's going to be guaranteed. So just go ahead and make that leap if you haven't already. It's definitely a tool that's worthwhile. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below. I'm happy to answer. Um, if you found any value, drop a like. Help me out with the algorithm. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks, guys.